Hi friends, this is MB Text, and today I'm going to show you how to send an HTTP request to the server. You can send an HTTP request to, to the server or to a REST API using different APIs, but in today I'm going to show you to use an OK HTTP client. There is a lot of grants such as Apache HTTP grant or you can use your connection the default for Android application and today I'm going to use an OK HTTP grant and I'm going to create a simple project with empty template and I create a server in my computer that I use to assess the resource and I display as the response in my Android device. Now I'm going to create a simple project here. I give the name at like this one. And everything I leave as default. In order to send requests through this, you need to declare the dependencies for an OK HTTP grant in order to download the classes that we are going to use to call a request. To do this, open a build.cloud file and add these dependencies. An implementation of these dependencies will download. After you add this, you need to download and after complete now we are going to create a view and in an XML file for the main activity I remove the default text error I'll create a simple button here and I'll name it to send this button will be used to send a request when I click on this button I leave I think a default and I give it a constraint. I also need to specify an ID in order to assess in the main activity. In order to show the response, I need to create a text view here. And this text view I give an ID so that I can access in the main activity class. Now we are going to implement the click event on a button. I'll define a button and I'll add an event on click. And on the implementation of this click event, I'll find some method that will be executed on click event. And in order to send a request, you have to create a request and you have to create a current. A current will send the request, and the request, once the request is sent, the response is returned from the server. So you have to define a current and a request. Both of these are in the OKHP API. To simplify, you can define the request with a builder. And this builder will be used to 
customize the the request that is going to be sent like the method in a URL you can specify even date that you are going to send if you are going to send a post method you have to put a parameter in this post but if you are going to use a get you don't need any parameter and in a post you have to put a list a request body a request what will, con will contain the media type and the string for the text that you are going to send for example if you want to send data in json format you have to specify the request media type that is a json application json and you have to put a string that you are going to send in a in a json format The string will represent the data that you will send to the server using the post method. This is different from the query parameter in the get method. Sometimes you may require to add header that such as an authorization. If a request requires an authorization, you will put here the header that is going to send to the server through this request. But for now, we are not going to use this one. account we define here you can define a builder using this method a okay be kind of new builder if you define a new builder it means that you need to customize the current for instance, if you, are, you want to add protocols, you, are, you want to specify the cache control, you, are, you want to specify different attributes. But for now, we don't need this. And in my computer, I'm running a simple server in a low cost. That when I call a get method, I return, I get a heroid like here. When I try to access using a browser, I put here an IP address because it is in my computer. And in a real application, you don't put an IP address, you have to put a URL. So I copy this IP address and put in the URL parameter. In a real application, you will put here a, a real URL, don't put an IP address. And now I have to define a response. And a response will be 
assigned from a call to a client execute and this method execute will require to be cached because to send network request you may um, you may kind you may encounter some errors for instance if uh, there is no internet connection or the server is it cannot accept a protocol you have to specify here how to handle this errors that's why it required to use a client catch or you can throw an exception outside of this method and I have defined an, a, a text view and I'll display the response to the text view and now I assign the value text to, to the text view from the response body. This string will convert the response code to string. Now I will run my application on an emirate. After install complete, if I try to hit a send button, you can see I'm getting the errors. That is this one. This means we need an internet permission, our application work internet permission, in order to send any request through the internet unit to declare to define internet permission in your android manifest file add this permission and now try to run again if you hit a send button you will get the response and it will be displayed in the text view alright thanks for watching my friends